Would you like to read Hebrew accurately, fluently, and independently? If you want to become a Hebrew guru yourself, you're in the right place. Learn to write Hebrew. Step 12 is coming your way. And welcome to Hebrew Guru, a safe place where you can learn, practice, and become a Hebrew Guru yourself. If you're new to my channel, I'm Rabbi Akira. Nice to meet you. Naim Eod. And I'm here to help you master Hebrew one step at a time. Learn to write Hebrew in 18 steps. We'll start with a short introduction. There are 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. There are no capital letters in Hebrew. Hebrew is read and written from right to left. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zain, Chet, Tet, Yod, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ein, Pei, Tzadi, Kof, Resh, Shin, Taf. The Nikud, the Hebrew vowels. So if you wonder why you need to learn the Nikud, it's a mini course about learning how to write the Hebrew letters, right? There is a good reason. At the end of each step, we're going to learn one keyword in Hebrew. And in order for us to learn words in Hebrew, we need to add and to learn the vowels and to add the vowels. Okay, so similar to English, Hebrew vowels compose of five basic sounds. A, E, I, O, U, in Hebrew, pronounced A, E, I, O, U. A is in aqua, E is in red, E is in green, O is in orange, and U is in blue. The Hebrew Guru logo represents the five Hebrew vowels. A, E, I, O, U. A is in aqua, E is in red, E is in green, O is in orange, and U as in blue. So if we look down here, the X represents any Hebrew letter. So if we take a look here, you can see where we position the Hebrew vowels. So we have, for the A vowel, we have three different symbols. For the E vowels, we have four different symbols. For the E vowels, we have two. Uh, for the orange, we have four symbols, and for the U vowel, we have two different symbols. Now is the time for you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. If you got my book, Learn to Read Hebrew in 18 Steps, you have everything that you need. You don't need to print anything. Please go to page 39, where we're going to practice our new letters. So in step 12, we're going to learn two new letters. Chaf and Chaf Sofit. And we're going to start with reviewing everything that we already know. Starting with Shin in step one. We've learned Shin. We've learned Bet. You can see it on the top from the right hand side, all the letters. Bet was the second letter that we've learned in step one. Then we've learned the letter and the keyword Shabbat, meaning Saturday. Repetition is the key. So that's why I keep repeating everything we've learned. In step number two, we've learned the letter VET. And the letter TET. We've learned the letters VET and TET, and the keyword was BAT. Means a girl or a daughter. In step number three, we've learned the letters Aleph, two silent letters, Aleph and we've learned the letter Ein. And the keyword is Abba, 
Abba means daddy, or dad, or father. Abba. Step number four, we've learned two letters, mem, and its final form, mem sofit, which we use only at the end of a word, mem sofit. Two different shapes, the same sound. Both have M sound, then final M. And the keyword was emet, truth, using the E vowel, E, then mem, then E vowel, tav, emet. In step number five, we've learned lamed. Again, we've learned two letters in step number five, the letter lamed and the letter hey. And our keyword was lama. Why lama? In step number six, we've learned the le two letters, the letter Samech. And the letter Sin. Both makes S sound. Samech and Sin. And the keyword Isal, basket. In step number seven, we've learned Dalet. And Resh. And the keyword, Delet. Door, delet, dalet evau, lamet evau, and tav, delet. In step number eight, we've learned two letters, nun and nun sofit. Nun in its final form, final nun, it comes only at the end of a word. And the keyword, ani, I am, ani, and then you say your name. Ani David, Ani Daniel, Ani Sarah. In step number nine, we've learned the letter, the letters Gimel and Zain, G and Z. And we've learned the keyword Gadol. Gadol means big. Gadol. In step number 10, we've learned the letter Yod and Vav. Both letters can be consonants and they can also be a part silent when they're a part of the vowel, either the green vowel for the yod, e vowel, or a part of the o and u vowel for the vav. That's the vav. In our book, when it's going to be colored in black, it's going to be when the vav is um, in black, it's going to be a v sounded letter, a consonant, or it can be orange when it's a part of the o vowel, or blue when it's a part of the U vowel. So that's a vav and the keyword is bite, home, bite. Bite. In step Number 11, we've learned two new letters, the cuff, and the
and the cough both makes K sound, a K sound. So cough and cough. That's the cough. Cough. You've learned a lot so far. This is a lengthy review, right? That's our cough. And the keyword, katan. Remember, katan. Katan means small. We have gadol, big, katan, small. And today we're moving on to the letter Chaf and Chaf Sofit, but we're going to start with Chaf. If it looks familiar, it's another, it's, it's the same like the letter Kaf, but without the dot. So in, previous, in the previous step we've learned, in step number 11, we've learned the Kaf, the Kuf and Kaf, right, which makes K sound. The chaf is without a dot. It makes a ch sound, which we don't have in the English um, alphabet. Even though it's not the same spelling, but it's kind of like Hanukkah and Chala, uh, which we spell with a chet, a different letter, but it's the same sound. It makes a ch sound, um, which we really don't have in English. So that's the chaf. And the half has a final form as well. So we'll, we've learned the final mem, we've learned the final nun, and now it's, we have the final half. So you can hear it like in words, like baruch, blessed, right? At the end of a word, baruch, for example. So that's the final half. instead of final half. On your way to becoming a Hebrew guru yourself, you will make some mistakes. But the key is to keep practicing and repetition, repetition. I can't stress it enough. The more you practice, the better you'll become. Please practice all the Hebrew alphabet, all the letters, over and over again. So you will really learn, learn them by heart. It will help you very much when you start reading Hebrew. You won't have to think about what's the sound, right? You'll just know it. Okay, so that was the final half. and final half. And we're going to learn a keyword, as we always do. So by the, the end of this mini course, I think you'll know like 18, how to write 18 words and the meaning, right? Okay, so we are going to add the Lamed. So we have Mem, Lamed, and Chaf Sofit. Final half. Mem, Lamed, and Chaf Sofit. And I think you're going to love this word. We have it in many, many blessings and prayers. 
So we have Mem, Lamed, and Chaf Sufit. And we're going to add our red vowels. So Mem with red vowel is going to be E. Me, Lamed with E, Le. So Me, Lech. Me, Lech. Melech means king. Melech HaOlam, king of the universe. We have it in many, many blessings. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu. Melech HaOlam. Melech, king of the universe. So that's Melech. Good job. So let's see how many letters we know so far. So many. I'm just going to say it from right to left. Shin, Bet, Tav, Tet, Vet, Aleph, Ein, Mem, Mem Sufit, Hey, Lamed, Samech, Sin, Daled, Resh, Nun, Nun Sufit, Gimel, Zain, Yod, Vav, Kof, Kaf, Chaf, Chaf Sufit. Final Chaf. And that is it for today. Thank you for joining the Hebrew Guru community. If you enjoyed and learn something new from this video, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell so you'll get notifications from me whenever I release a new video. If you want to learn how to read Hebrew in as little as nine hours, or you want to read Hebrew without making mistakes, Hebrew Guru Learn to Read Hebrew in 18 Steps is right for you. To get copies of my Crash Course books, please visit HebrewGuru.com or you can get it on Amazon. Sending many blessings your way. Lehitraot! See you soon!